हेलो प्राइम गोडर्स लेट्स बिगिन विथ टी सी एस एंड यू टी इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विच वॉज गिवन बाय अ कैंडिडेट हु इज़ फ्रॉम जयपुर राजस्थान ओके सो द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस इज टोटली वाइल्ड वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू इज बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ अस लाइक हु इज प्रिपेरिंग और हु इज अ टी सी एस एस्परेंट दे वुड थिंक दैट वॉट एवर थिंक दैट दे मैंशन इन देयर रेज्यू में दे विल स्टिक अराउंड दैम विच इज़ द प्रोटोकॉल ओके विच basically students whatever he know whatever he did in his four year of engineering he mentioned everything in that resume now in this interview what happened is they asked out of the resume based questions okay how what why everything we'll see in this particular video so i am aditya you are watching prime coding if you are new to this channel do consider subscribe like and comment on this particular video and do let me know what is your interview experience either you can reach out to me on aditya mishra okay i am telling you about my mail id aditya mishra at the rate uh, prime coding dot in or either you can find in uh, the description below okay so yes this is my mail you can reach out to me with your interview experience so the one interview experience that i got is first of all we should know about panelist okay how many panel members were there so panel members were one technical one mr and one hr so three people were there in the panel okay so now the question starts from his resume which is most of the time usually happens in the interview so interview which is technical lead started asking about his spring boot project as he had spring boot in his project okay now spring boot is very rarely used by the candidate because they think in the company they mostly use spring boot so if i mention this uh, it would be a great impression and they will hire me straight away no if you are not preparing this technology thoroughly then it is a very rare chance that you will get shortlist why i'm telling you is the uh, interviewer who is working in the company okay he is totally working on spring boot so either he might have 2 year plus experience or 3 year plus experience so he know all the fundamental and basic questions that should be asked to any new bean okay and as you only learned this technology to build your project that's it this is the fall back because you learned only the features only the dependency which you can use to build that particular project and the guy in front of you is expecting all the fundamentals and basics as he have hands on experience on this spring boot now this is the first thing which means you know how to cook a sai paneer but in front of that chef who is master chef okay so he definitely expect those those little things that every cook should know okay so yeah so spring boot question has been asked to him and they deep dive okay so they totally ask deep questions all the dependency that he used how he built this product and stuff now as a spring boot if someone learns he have to know about kafka because this is the full technology family kafka redis for request and etc okay so this is a particular family now why i told because the follow up question after deep dived into his project they started asking question from kafka because they think okay if he used spring boot then they might have good command on kafka as well because what actually happened is let's say you learned react js okay so if anyone anyone in it industry sees okay this candidate no react js so he might used mon family or mean family let's say most of the candidate only use react js for a front end and they don't know rest but the follow up question these people totally get in their interview is why don't you use mon stack or why don't you use mean stack because if they are using react js then definitely that particular website would be the front end only they not have a back end if they have back end it might be the use of other technology so these types of question you can totally expect why don't you use these families instead of only using react js so simply there are multiple family members of spring boot now people think i will do spring boot i will do this so in the worst case think about that which is currently going on in the tcs interview i got many interview experiences do subscribe this channel i will put on this uh, videos in that particular tcs and qt interview experience playlist okay so that you will not miss any of the new update so yeah 
the spring boot they are starting asking about kafka and he said i don't know then what happened next then he said why you don't know you should know because you have a good knowledge of spring boot now definitely if you are a newbie you will be keep calm you will not able to say anything next after this particular question now no, not only this now they okay the, the candidate said don't know then they started asking very very basic question of kafka which he is totally not aware of now what is the sense if the candidate itself expect or accept that he is not well versed with kafka then they ask some basic question to either demotivate him to check how much knowledge he have okay so now so now other stuff because i totally wrote everything and if you are curious to know what was the interview duration interview duration so the interview duration of 25 minute okay so now i will tell you about the roles and which for which role it was because you feel think okay this is the ninja is it this is prime this is this is visitor no you will be shocked after getting knowing what is the particular uh role for this particular thing okay so now they asked about now you might think aditya what about dbms sql oops most of the time they ask this only guys they only ask the difference between dbms and sql no questions on oops no question on oops now you might say what about data structures algorithm in data structure algorithm they ask the candidate is what algo algorithm you know that's it you know and he said i know sorting then he said binary algorithms that he is well versed and no follow up question would be asked to him no follow up questions okay only this a uh, dbms versus sql when he totally answered this particular question the follow up question was what is foreign key what is foreign key that's it and no differences other than that but the part here is he got multiple questions out of the box out of the box regarding if you see in the kafka then few keywords that he never ever listen in his 3 years of engineering degree and he was not able to communicate with me as well so now what you can expect how you need to prepare you need to prepare in such a way that no aspect should go out of the bound why i am telling you is because in the interview most of the time okay let me scroll a bit okay most of the time uh, they ask okay what is your future of your project that you built do have you do or do you do any more modification into it is that any other technology that you incorporate so this guy so this guy said i am gonna do ai implementation in my spring boot project now as well as he wrote the same line into the resume which was a totally i would say a red flag and he thought of he wrote planning not about the technology that he included the rest follow up question was in detail question of what ai you are using why you are using this algo why not this algo and why not you are exploring some other domain such as deep learning and stuff so yes this is all about the uh, planning that he talk about why he is not using this why you are not using this okay so if you wonder for which role that totally i spoke about 8 minute is which is digital role for digital role they ask these questions totally these questions which were totally not expected because most of the time we expect oops would be asked dbms would be asked and the resume based question whatever we have listed in the resume not outside of that but kafka he no, didn't mention in his resume still the question was asked to him now you might wonder what about prime aditya what about prime role aditya now in the prime role it is typically again resume in depth questions okay in depth question you can totally expect in depth whatever you built how you built and stuff i will share you more states detail as well because i got from multiple states have patience i will go now upload everything very soon so as you were in depth question so which is typically happen with all of the candidate is it but the main point that i want to add here is which 
you might not prepared with which is they are analyzing mark sheets because you have whole document that you will give on him on his table on the panel table and they will start asking you questions on mark sheet do me do do they ask me about cgps they will ask you cgpa but the thing is you made project in data science let's uh, assume okay and let's say your cgpa is not good in this data science subjects then they started grilling you on that why you have this particular cgpa let's say you have seven cgpa and you claim yourself as a data scientist you have a good project in data science but still you are not able to do uh, perform well in your semester exams these types of problems and now if you totally if i want to add a point here is this candidate also shared something which is totally uh, unbelievable which is this candidate had a cgpa around 7 okay he have a uh, like 10th and 12th grade percentage uh, uh, like around 70% 70 to 75% so they started making jokes is that 7 is your favorite number that you are getting only 70% you are not moving outside of that again the candidate confidence after this interview was totally down totally down and after this he was totally demotivated okay totally demotivated now it might be after getting this you might be get full demotivated and you want to have something so that you will get to know okay, how to crack an off campus placement so for that you can take use of heto platform how it works as as you can see on the screen you will get a prompt where you need to write a prompt looking for a top rated affordable mentor with experience cracking a uh, major tech companies you can mention these companies which is totally a dream company for most of us then the hito ask you what is your budget you need to tell my budget is this much so it will recommend you few profiles so if you click on any of the profile you will get into that creator profile you can see helping crack to interviews sde2 which is a great position in a big uh, product based company so you can book a one to one mock session and do you need to pay 499 no you don't need to pay 499 because i have a coupon code for you like you just need to add aditya 10 and you will get straight 10% discount on this particular order okay so you just need to go and click on this order worth of rupees uh, 499 of offer you will get only in 280 like mentorship in just in 299 you will get it in just 280 rupees isn't it interesting so without wasting time find your mentor now and get the good guidance and crack the bigger company as compared to the service based company the link would be in the description the coupon code is also there in the description do book your session so yeah this is the point so you should not get demotivated in any condition okay this is an interview and they have all rights whatever they want to do they will do now it's upon you how you going to tackle this so cgpa not good as ds i wonder if he says i am a quick learner then what might happen in his resume or in his actual interview isn't it so yeah mark sheet based questions you can totally expect so yes these are the prime and digital role that i got it from our uh, jaipur okay jaipur rajasthan jaipur rajasthan now if you want from multiple states do let me know in the comment section for which states or you from where you recently appeared for your interview because these interview nowadays going totally out of the board totally out of the no one can predict it for now because the interview experience i got in andhra pradesh now you might say aditya why don't you tell me right away i need to figure it out totally because the question was totally not cleared i am totally discussing with the candidates who appeared in their assessment i will come with all the questions properly okay so that you will get a better idea how the question has been coming out so yes this is the question of 12th of november so now please do subscribe the channel if you have not like this video and share with your friends so that your friend can also prepare for these kind of interview so that it will not hit the worst condition